every organism needs energy to survive. For human beings, food is the source of energy, and it requires oxygen to release this energy. Respiration is the process by which the body obtains and utilizes oxygen to produce energy inside a human's body. There are three steps of respiration in humans. Breathing is the process of moving air into and out of the lungs to facilitate gas exchange with the internal environment. This brings in oxygen from the air and flushes out carbon dioxide. Internal respiration is the exchange of substances between blood and cells, whereas cellular respiration is the release of energy from food substances in living cells. Today, we will discuss cellular respiration only. Cellular respiration. There are two kinds of cellular respiration, aerobic and anaerobic. Aerobic respiration is the process by which oxygen-breathing creatures turn fuel, such as fats or sugars, into energy by the help of oxygen. The key organelle inside cells of aerobic respiration is the mitochondria, where the glucose molecule from the food goes through a multi-step process, such as glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and electron transport chain. At the end of this multi-step process, one molecule of glucose, with the help of six molecules of oxygen, can produce 36 molecules of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, along with six carbon dioxide molecules and six water molecules. This makes aerobic respiration a very efficient process. All multicellular organisms, and some yeast, can carry this type of respiration. Aerobic respiration is needed by many processes in our body to run properly. Muscle contraction, such as in limbs, cardiac, and peristaltic motion, need the ATP generated through respiration as their fuel. Formation of peptide bonds in protein synthesis, the synthesis of chromosome and cell membranes, cell division in growth, transmission of nerve impulse along the axon by transporting sodium ions in and out of the membrane, and regulation of body temperature are all powered by the aerobic respiration. The examples of anaerobic respiration are alcoholic fermentation, lactic acid fermentation, and process rigorous muscular activity. Alcoholic fermentation is carried out in plants and some yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which sugar is broken down to release energy. One molecule of glucose turns into two ethanol, two carbon dioxide, and energy of two ATP is released. This process is an economically important process that is used in bread making and brewing beer and wine. Some bacteria, such as Lactobacillus bulgaricus, cause milk to turn sour and form yogurt. The bacteria feed on sugar, which is then converted into lactic acid and energy. This energy is also equivalent to two ATP. The bacteria turn glucose into two lactic acid and energy of two ATP. In human beings, during strenuous activity, breathing is not able to provide sufficient oxygen for respiration. Muscles experience a shortage of oxygen, so the aerobic process becomes anaerobic. This change causes formation of lactic acid. Accumulation of lactic acid causes muscular cramps and fatigue as a safety measure to protect the muscle cells. Rapid breathing after the activity helps to repay debt by increasing oxygen in the muscles, thus converting the process back to aerobic. Thank you for your continuous support, especially our valued patrons and members who have been encouraging us to keep producing more quality content.